Hey everyone, I'm Meredith and I'm here with Ty Yasue of Square Enix and we're going to talk about Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Now there is a lot to cover in this, so why don't you just give us a brief overview of what the game's about. Okay, I'm very excited to be here. Um, there are actually three uh, Kingdom Hearts experiences in this compilation. Uh, first of all, there is Kingdom Hearts uh, 0 0.2, a fragment, Be Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. That involves Aqua and it's a continuation of her story um, after Birth by Sleep. Um, she's sort of trapped in this dark world and she sort of wants to escape um, shadows and uh, evil evil creatures are out to get her. Um, the second one is Kingdom Hearts uh, Dream Drop Distance um, and this one is uh, uh, it's ported from the 3D uh, 3DS system to PS4 for the first time where you have Sora traveling in a dream world. And finally there is the movie uh, which is called Kingdom Hearts uh, Key Back Cover and this is sort of linked to uh, Key Unchained uh, that's available on mobile, and it sort of has, uh, depicts the backstory of uh, that. And it involves the foretellers. There are foretellers in that story, um, and you can see it on a, a cutscene. So let's go back a little bit and tell me what it was like taking a game that was originally on a 3DS and bringing it to the PS4. Okay, well, there's, uh, it was very, actually, we had to plan things out. Um, we had to change the controls because obviously 3DS has a touch screen. So we came up uh, with a list and we retweaked um, the game design. Uh, we changed it so for example, the reality shift system, a lot of the battle system, we wanted to make it easier to play on a controller, for example. Um, also, we had a lot of mini games involving the dream eaters. These are creatures um, that you have as pets. And uh, the mini games we wanted to play on the controller as well. So that was recreated, replanned as well. And I guess one of the big other things uh, is uh, we re totally recreated the graphics, obviously the facial expressions, the fingers, everything, her hair. Wow. Characters. And also, um, it moves on 60, 60 frames per second for the first time, I guess. And so the movements are really smooth, I think. So How that's long have amazing. you been working on that? That <laughs> seems like a lot to cover. So that is, right? But yeah, I guess we've been uh, porting for 1.5 and 2.5 as well. So I guess that experience really uh, translated well to uh, DDD. Kingdom Hearts Zero Dream what I loved when we were looking at the trailer is you see Aqua, and the flow motion style of her movement looks so beautiful and fluid throughout the levels. How did you guys achieve that? Well, I guess one of the hallmarks of Kingdom Hearts is this fluid movement, and we really wanted um, Aqua, who is elegant and has a lot of magical powers, to react uh, dynamically with the environment, so she could sort of slide down slopes, hop on rocks, and um, you don't necessarily have to push the jump button as much, she automatically jumps on cliff sides. And also, I guess, uh, one of the things we wanted to really push was her magical spells. Um, Aqua's, I guess, hallmark is uh, symbols are, I guess, magic. She's really good at magic. So for, uh, we, used, we came up with a lot of magical spells, remade them. For example, if you use the blizzard, it, it, it shoots a piece of uh, ice and you can slide on, oh, cool. uh, slide, on, uh, slide on a piece of ice. So um, all the magical spells really react to the environment and really changes the strategy of the game. Now this is actually kind of linking mm -hmm. previous stories mm -hmm. to future stories. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys go apart that with making the narrative seem linear? Okay, well, um, I think um, there's a deep uh, Kingdom Hearts arc story, I guess, underlying the whole Kingdom Hearts series. Um, Kingdom Hearts key back cover, it really uh, depicts the history of Kingdom Hearts uh, with the Keyblade Graveyard and why that there was a Keyblade War, for example. And so that is the first, I guess, first, first timeline story there. Um, for 0 0.2 and uh, Dream Drop Distance, that just proceeds directly to Kingdom Hearts 3. So that's really like a prologue. Um, in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, uh, Sora wants to become a Keyblade Master, so he goes on, he trains in different worlds to become that. Um, and for 0 0.2, Aqua, who is a very important character in the Kingdom Hearts series, um, you sort of understand her pain when she's trapped inside uh, this dark world. It's now there's a question I'd love to ask because it kind of drew a lot of attention when she said this part of the, I think it's actually coming up in the trailer that we're looking at. She looks up at the night stars and she says, oh, I miss you, my friends. And then we hear the voice of Tara talking with her. What is she, what's going on with that there's right there? There's a lot, yeah, there? yeah. She is really missing her friends. And I think she is very lonely. And it's, it's I think uh, she sees a lot of things and she wants to, I guess, return to her friends. And I think by playing that, um, you sort of understand, you want to sort of help her. And I, I yeah, think it really oh, here, gives, we're looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah. I think it gives meaning to the players when they're playing Kingdom Hearts 3, because all these uh, Aqua and all these characters are really connected to Sora. And uh, we really wanted the players to experience her pain and her sadness. Um, so that, I guess, we want the player to be emotionally involved, right? Yeah, empathize with yeah, her empathize, situation. Yeah, empathize, that's right, so you yeah. You actually want to help her get through that. That's awesome. 
All right, well, we have a release date coming up of December 2016. <laughs> And we'll stick around with the PlayStation Vlog and also with Kingdom Hearts and find out more information about that when that's coming okay. to all of us. I hope you look forward to it. It's I will, a great yes. Game. Thank you so okay, much for joining you, us. Steve. All right. PlayStation.